Hello everyone, how's it going? Today we are looking into signature extraction and you can look into this output right here. So this is a document which has a signature on it and we can extract the signature. We can also eradicate the extraction of the signature from the original document itself. So this is a very neat application and we'll try to get into it to see how we can develop this. So into the link in the description, you'll have the signature extraction collab file which will open up here and you can go into the section and the first thing you want to do is clone the repository and we are extracting this information this project is basically developed by this gentleman and i'll open up his github repository so he made this project two years ago and i found it very interesting and very easy to understand and then implement it so you're basically cloning the repository and the moment you clone the repository it'll create this folder and it'll give you two input images that you can test with test your output with and then also do the same thing for your own projects so let's go into understanding what we are doing and i'll be dividing this whole project into six steps the first step is reading the image where you're basically using the open series im read command to read the image that we have and we are also creating a threshold value so we are converting the original image which was basically a scanned image and it has some grayish color it has different types of functions different types of pixel values in, involved in it but we are only interested in the black color region and for that purpose we will use the threshold and convert it into a threshold binary image the second step is blobs now blobs are basically the matter that you see in the image in the page and all the text that's written all the uh, textual prints that you can see including the signature those are nothing but blobs in image terminology so on a white background these are blobs or these are material that is being placed on the image so you're just extracting the blobs and identifying where all these blobs are the next step is understanding the area of the text and for that purpose we are going to be using a scikit-learn library and something called as region props and this region props can use the information of the blobs that we found in the previous step and then extract the information of the blobs so it can give you especially the area of the blob and if the area of the blob is greater than 10 then you're just adding it to the area of the total total area of the blob so you're basically trying to identify where the text how much text is present on the image so you're just basically from the whole uh, image from the whole document you're just identifying where all the text is including the signature including the printed matter so you're just extracting the information of the text and then ex basically eradicating the background and the foreground so you're first identifying where the text is present and once you identify the text then you can use that information to create a threshold value so now what you can see is a signature is basically when a person handwrites or does his signature the signature tends to be longer and bigger than the printed matter on the text so that's the advantage that's the difference between a printed matter and a signature and that is what we will be using for our advantage and for that purpose we're creating a threshold and that threshold is going to be defined by the average value whatever the average value is and that average value is nothing but the size of the printed text so if the average value is greater than this thing yes that is my signature and anything which is below that that's all noise for me and that's not i'm not interested in that i'm only interested in the signature okay good well and good so you you're able to identify the threshold and you're first identifying the average and the average is basically the total area and the counter number of blobs that you had and the total area so you're identifying the average so the average is basically nothing but your printed text so you know you know where your average is and that average you are going to be using to identify where my signature is so this author has basically designed this very nice formula for creating the constant for a4 constant and this is uh, basically for a a4 page or a international uh, a4 constant page and uh, he's basically using the uh, number of inches and of the uh, width and the height of the page and then identifying that constant for the page once he has that information then uh, the, our next step would be 
to remove the noise. And this noise is going to be removed using this remove small objects function, which is part of the scikit image library. So you have morphology, and you're, you're using remove small objects. So this function is basically going to use, is going to remove all the blobs in your image that are smaller than the constant that you defined in the previous step. And this A4 constant is nothing but your threshold. So it's basically having the information of how big your printed text is. If your printed text is so small, remove it. I don't need them. That's basically noise for me. So it, what are you going to be left with? You'll be left with the bigger objects, which are basically nothing but the signature. So now you, you just save the pre-version, which is the B, because this version, which comes out of the removed small objects, it's not an image that you can visibly uh, use or because it's uh, coming out from the scikit image library. So you do want to or reopen it up and then use the threshold function to convert it into a binary image so that you can then identify the written text and the background. That step is very important using the threshold function. Now you can save this image. This image will only have information about the signature. So the original image that we had, the IMG that we read here over in the first step is the original image which has both the printed text and the signature. Now the second image that we have, IMG2, this image only has information about the signature, where the signature is. But the third image which would be now you are interested in the original image and the final image which has the signature. What if I, I can only remove the signature from the original image? And for that purpose, we are going to be using OpenCV's bitwise XR and X0 function. And XR is basically we're doing XR between image and image two. And wherever there is a difference, the difference is basically this, that signature region. You're just removing that signature from the original image and then saving it as a difference. Now, since XR makes it a black and white image, so you want, I'm just inverting that by using bitwise not. And this function will give you the final image, which is basically the original document without the signature. And I'm just saving this with the output no sign PNG. And that's one of the outputs that we saw originally when we started the video. So you can see I'm also displaying the original, the output without the signature. And you can see that the signature has been extracted. And over in this region, you can see there is a small portion of the signature missing. That is because of the threshold value that we defined. And for some reason, the threshold thought that this is okay. This is within the threshold limits. So this is part of the signature. This is part of the text that is already present. So I, and for hence for that purpose, it left it. But if you play around with our threshold value, which is here, we can basically extract and make it more, more clear and more precise and more refined for our use. With that, we come to the conclusion of this project. Hope this is helpful to you, at least understanding the basics and understanding these very interesting applications of image processing. So I found it very interesting. I hope you did the same. And with that, you guys take care. Stay safe. Bye-bye.